Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and today I'm going to show you the reference manual I've created for the player quick start guide for Shadow Dark. Uh, I'm excited. I hope people like it. I hope it does uh, the Arcane Library um, rule set justice, and I hope the Arcanists like it. That's what's very important to me as well. But um, this is just a PDF of the Shadow Dark quick start guide. Um, but yeah, let me jump in and show you what it looks like in Fantasy Grounds. So when you first launch Fantasy Grounds, I actually have the extension theme in the background for Shadow Dark. But you'll go open your library and go to activation. Hopefully you've already subscribed on the Forge once I, once I launch this. You'll search for Shadow Dark, and I'll show you which one. Um, let's see. So right now, there's some other ones I had, I had uh, created, but we're going to use the Shadow Dark Player Guide. That's the one I'm using. So when you open the module and you see it, you'll click on the link. <clears throat> you'll see all the different records and the reference manual. And this is what I just finished. So I, I know it still needs to be proof, so hopefully people can help me. So let me expand this a little bit. So you've got the Quick Start Player Guide window over here. Overview and credits. So it starts, I tried to keep this as consistent as I could with the, um, the PDF. So it starts with basic gear. And I, I went ahead, I wanna see what people think about this, but I created the um, two column layout that if you look in the guide itself, that's how uh, Kelsey created this. So I try to keep this as consistent as I could to this theme. So if you look at it, you'll see all of the, uh, yeah, the different uh, two column layout. You'll see the cover, credits. Uh, I hope Kelsey's okay with this. I'll ask her. I just kept all the credits and then just added a quick conversion. I didn't put my name, but that it is uh, being done with the permission of the Arcane Library. So if you look in Shadow Dark here, look in the basics. Again, all of the text is here. I got all the images. You can actually click on all the images and bring them out and share them with players, which is cool. Um, the next section is characters. So I tried to keep these flavor texts that she had. Um, overview. So again, I tried to keep all the formatting in here. And again, all of these, like you can pop out the link and this will be shareable for the players to, to view as well. Background, I created tables wherever possible. There's still probably a few tables I can create. But if you see here, I put the text of the tables here. But if you click on this link, this is a rollable table. So you can click on the roll button to roll the table. And now you've got the Ranger as a background. All right, um, background stats. So again, all the stats are in here. It tells you the modifiers. Again, the images I tried to create. Uh, ancestry, so you've got your dwarfs, elves, goblins, halflings. And I tried to cut off and again, show the uh, flavor text here. I think it looks good. I, I hope it does. Um, and I could link the, end. well, no, not the ancestries. I'll get to that. So then you get to your fighter class. So the way I did this here, you've got your class link. So this has all of the different uh, things that you get at every level. So as you level up and drag on, these will show up in your character sheet. And I have a separate video on creating a character. Uh, I'll do another video on combat, but this one I'm just spinning through the uh, reference manual. So again, flavor text, and you've got the fighter image. Uh, let's go to the priest. Again, you've got all of the priest information here, the priest class. You've got priest talents. Again, rollable talents if you want to do that. And the, the talent table is here. Spells known. I included that here. Thief class, same thing. Got your thief image. Wizard. Love all the images that they created here. And wizard talents, little flaming arrow here. Titles. Um, so again, you've got your image, you've got your fighter titles, priest titles, there might be spelling errors in here. I'll keep checking thief titles. So I, I didn't make these rollable yet, but I can. Uh, alignment, you've got kind of a cool image and you've got chaotic, lawful, and neutral. Um, languages, uh, I did not make these into tables yet, but I tried to make them in a nice table format. Deities, so all of your deities are listed and I think maybe some folks are partial to Memnon, just saying. Um, gear. So I've got all the gear here. So again, it's easy for people to look through it. Um, talks about gear slots, crawling kit, armor, weapons, all of that's listed here. And uh, the character names. This was a little bit of a pain. I might create this into a table. I haven't done that yet. 
but all of the kind of the random character names if you want. Double advancement. And let's see the gameplay. So all of the text around, let's see how oh, there's the, just a quick little blurb. Rolling the dice explains how that all works. Um, luck tokens, an image, how many luck tokens to give. Stats, using stats, strength, dexterity, con, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Making checks explains on when to roll and when you really don't know. I might have to bold some of these. I might have forgotten. Uh, time explains how time works and how time passes. Turn order, initiative. Uh, crawling, so a little bit more about conditions, actions, movement, um, what happens in darkness. Resting. Stealth and surprise. Kind of had to include the eyes image down there. I love that. Uh, combat. So it talks about determining surprise, combat actions, damage, morale, death, and then casting spells. So um, talks about casting spells and results. Wizards mishaps. Again, this is a table I probably need to create, so I might have a little bit of work to do left, but still in pretty good shape, I think. Using scrolls, spell attributes, and then spell lists. So you see all the spell lists here for priest tiers and wizard tiers. Uh, one thing you don't always see in the reference manual, so that's the whole reference guide, but if you look over here on your um, right-hand rail, if you click on items, so let's go back to gear for a second. Uh, so here's your gear. So basic gear here, the way I set this up, if you click down to basic gear, all of the links are here. So you've got your crowbars, um, you've got your crossbow bolts that you can drag and drop onto your character. And you've got an explanation. Um, crawling kit, I do have as a parcel. You can drag and drop that parcel and it'll explode onto your character sheet and give you everything you need. Um, armor. So you have all your different armors. And I have this set up on a character sheet with just a little bit of input. It'll update your armor class. And weapons. So all of your weapons and attacks and damage are in here. I have another video showing that. Um, Let's see, I already showed you, but once again, classes. So fighter, pre thief, priest, thief, wizard. And then let's go to spells. So here's your spell list again. You go under roles and you click on um, the drop down arrow here, priest tier one spells. You can see all of your spells here are already in record. So if you click on cure wounds, I've got roles set up. You drag and drop this on your character. It explains about the spell. And then you have your roles. Um, turn undead. Again, same kind of thing. You have your checks up here, advantage, disadvantage. And if you look at my other video on the character sheet, you'll see how that works. So next video, I will do a uh, combat and show you because I do have records quick. Uh, actually, I don't have that module open, but I did create all of the monsters. So I'll show you how that works. And I think it's pretty cool combat. So uh, thanks so much, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy this. Leah, shoot me a comment uh, on YouTube and Discord anywhere to let me know what you think of the Fantasy Grounds conversion. And thanks again, Kelsey, so much for such a wonderful, wonderfully successful Kickstarter and for letting me do this conversion to allow others to uh, use the Quick Start rule set for free in Fantasy Grounds. Thanks again, everyone, and I hope to see you around the Fantasy Grounds forums.